Kids, pay attention. happened. Something incredibly terrible happened. You never need these if the situation's good. This situation is terrible. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is completely my fault. I take complete responsibility. I ended up screwing up my truck. Let my experience teach you. Can you see that? Like, look at this runner here. Perfect, 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 boof! It dinged up the door here. It's not too bad, not too bad, but then you can see there's actually a lip right there. That's no good. Right here, it didn't really do anything but put paint on. But then here, I mean, this whole door is shot. I hit a pole. The Duramax got in a fight with the pole. The pole won. The pole kicked the Duramax. Wow. The sunlight screwed up the shot. Looks like I got sideswiped by the frickin' Hulk. Now if this happened to a lot of people, like 98% of the world's population, people would start freaking out, start raging, going crazy, going insane, and everything like that. Me being an optimist, I have to look at the bright side. So I have learned to pay more attention, look in my blind spots. And the good thing is, it wasn't this side of the truck. Because as you guys know, I just got done painting this door. Well, I mean, I took it to a shop and they painted it and they did a good job. So I'm glad I didn't sideswipe this side. I mean, to tell you the absolute truth, that would look really cool. Like as a paint job, that would look extremely cool if the whole if the whole truck looked like that with the green stripes like everywhere. But uh, I don't like the dent thing. That's not very sophisticated. There's no point in crying, I may as well laugh. It's quite pungent. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Stings the nostrils. Cross your fingers. In a good way. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, I'm gonna be honest with you, that smells like pure gasoline. 60% of the time, it works. Anybody want a free dent puller? I don't like these things. They're not coming out. You want to know the most irritating part? I'll show you. This thing works so incredibly well. Like, it's out of my way right now. If I want to look in the mirror, like, that's just out of my way. If I want to jump into my truck, I open up the door, and I can literally put my foot right here. So it looks like this. I open up. And then when I get out, instead of looking for a step, I just jump. It works so extremely well, like, engineer-wise, it's amazing. Look-wise, it, it's not that amazing. We got, we got a huge bend in it. Saying that, I'm gonna shave some weight. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. My question is, is now what do I do with it? And what do I do with my truck? Do I leave it the same? Do I, do I try to fix this? Do I try to build something new? Tell me, tell me in the comment section, please. Before you or I come up with an idea, I'm just gonna rest it right there. And make an awesome shelf. The parts for the GS1000 unfortunately have not come in yet. Luckily, I have parts for another project. I have dirt bike stand parts. As you guys are aware, I had those Braptastic decals. There's one right here. And I was selling these to raise money for the Gator Project. And I said I'd pick two people that purchased Braptastic decals to win a custom stand. I just got all the pieces in today. So now it's time to make two subscribers very, very happy. I like making subscribers very, very happy. That's why I make a video every day. 
I believe the more you give, the more you receive. That's why I strive to make a video every day. That's a fact, Jack. Joe W. is the winner of the first stand. Congratulations, Joe. Thank you for your support. It's people like you that make this channel better every single day. Here are the first stand components. You, sir, are going to have one classy, sophisticated 3D machines dirt bike stand. I've had this power cable over here for a while. I haven't hooked up my welder up to it yet, and I really want to see if the welder will work properly with it. Now it's just time to finalize it. I need to give my little welder a break. I want to fry it. So while I give the welder a break, I'll get to the other stand by our other winner. That's Mr. Gary J. Congratulations, Gary. I mean, th this is just a bunch of pieces of steel, but I'll make it into a stand for you, no problem. I want to thank you too for your support. I appreciate it. As you can see, I got the second one tacked up, and I just finalized the first one. Well, I guess I didn't finalize it, but I did weld it all up. I took the wire wheel back to it. It's all clean, now I gotta etch it. It seems like this stuff has become my best friend. I, I use it a lot. Update on the new wire. Well, on the new power unit. These 110 welders, they're not made to weld on the pipeline. Like, like they're not made to weld 24-7 or, or hours upon hours. They're made to like go a couple minutes and then go off a couple minutes. So I've ended up tripping this power unit one time, so then I've just relaxed. But so far, that power unit, I'm impressed with it. So what I'm, what I'm getting accomplished here is I'm doing a little bit here, and then I'm going back over here. So I just laid this second bead here. So now I'll go over here. Flip this over and then etch the rest of it. So yeah, it's been kind of a bummer that I screwed up my truck. And you know, that's gonna cost me a lot of money. But I am enjoying the day because I'm giving back. And you guys know me, I'm all about giving back. So this will reward me in the future somehow. Now I'm not planning on that or scheduling that in any way. I just, that's, that's my belief system. Everybody has their own beliefs. That's one of my beliefs. My girlfriend just, she brought me her kids meal toy. Build your own creativity. This is what children need, absolutely. But I ran out of I ran out of paint, so I have the first layer done with that one. This one I still have to do a lot of welding, and I have to etch it. So unfortunately, I can't really move on. So what time is it? Like 9:15? Yeah. So value's closed. Everything's closed. Yeah. So I can't get this done tonight. Unfortunately, tomorrow we are going to New York City. My girlfriend and I. Woo! Yeah, and we we're staying in a hotel, but we have no idea. Like we booked this just a few days ago. I have absolutely no idea what the address is. You don't know what the address is. Nope. So uh, we gotta find that out. Just like all my projects, this one's gonna stay, stay on hold. Once I get back from New York City, we'll go ahead and take care of these guys, send them out, and then we'll all be happy. The reason why we're going to New York City is I was actually invited by DJI, you know, the, the Mavic that they sent me, be a part of the meeting, enjoy a little bit of vacation, go to New York City. What do you mean? Why do you keep making facial expressions? It's really ticking me off. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production just like everything. You know, we might not get it done the first day. Lack of material. I mean, out of all this spray paint, like my girlfriend said, like all this spray paint up here, all that spray paint on that shelf, and I don't have any more flat black. I'm sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until tomorrow. 3D Machines out. Oh, yeah, and, and you came out with a new t-shirt design. But we're not going to show them that, that yet. Nope. It's going to stay a secret just for a little bit.
and we're gonna we're gonna introduce it sometime. So I'm excited for that as well. Enjoy your day. 3D Machines out. <laughs>